Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the new HR1 headlamp from Claris. Actually, officially, this is the HR1 Plus. There's an HR1 Pro. This is the HR1 Plus. I really like Claris flashlights. I thought to myself, have I ever seen a headlamp from them before? I was gonna start digging around on their website and on Amazon, but I said, you know, before I do any of that research, let me just talk about this one and test it out. And then at the end of this video, we'll talk about other options that they might have as far as headlamps. I didn't wanna bias myself in relation to this headlamp, but um, they make a great light overall. And this one has some really cool features that I think you'll be interested in. So one of the things about this is just how compact it is. So this is gonna be 18 millimeters as far as your thickness here. That's there, that's 0.71 inches. So 18 millimeters, 0.71 inches. So very compact. Uh, it does have the battery pack in the back. Now, for some people, they don't want something in the back, but I find for me, um, I don't mind having the weight in the back. If it's a lightweight headlamp, I don't want the extra strap over the top of the head, which they don't have on this. This is just gonna go around your head without the additional strap. So I think that is, um, that's nice. The, the power bank is built in here, so basically you plug this plug into the power bank and now you're giving power up to the, um, to the actual headlamp in the front. However, if you unplug this and using the included uh, USB-C cord, you can plug this into a larger power bank, so if you want to run it for a longer time, you can do that. Um, one thing just as a heads up, I mean obviously this is a very short cord, so if you had this on your head, you'd need a, a little bit of a longer um, cord to go down to your power bank if you're going to like run it in a back pocket or a side pocket. But bottom line is that if you have an additional power bank with this setup, you can run the lamp for even the headlamp for even longer. Um, as it's currently set up with the um, with the power bank that's included here, it's going to be a 2000 mAh or milliamp hour battery. So that's going to give you quite a bit of runtime depending on which output you have it set on. So as you can see, you've got a couple different lighting options there. Let me explain those to you now. I'm gonna walk you through the different functions now. Let me just say there are a lot of different outputs and functions on this light. So uh, the instructions are good, but if you buy the light, you can watch this video and I'll take you through all the different steps. So first thing I'll tell you is that we have two buttons on top, one on the right and one on the left. And then we have these three different lights. So we've got a spotlight, a floodlight, which is warmer than uh, the spotlight. And then we have a little red light down there. So I'm gonna turn it on, it's gonna come on on high for your spotlight, and then I'm gonna go medium low, high, medium low, high, medium low, okay? So I press the button on the right, comes on at high, medium, low, high, medium, low, back up to high here, I hold it down, and the light goes off. Now I can wait as long as I want, and when I press it again, it's gonna come back on at high, okay? So it's back on at high, medium, low, back up to high, press it, now it's off. Now, if you wait more than five seconds when you put on that light, it's not gonna go high, medium, low, it's gonna go high, medium, high, medium. So I turn it on at high here, and we'll wait for five seconds, and after five seconds, it'll only cycle between those two options. So there's high, medium, high, medium, high, hold it down, and it goes off. So that is for your spotlight. Now, when I turn it on, with the right button and then I press the left button, it's gonna give me a couple different options. So as we turn it on here, there's high, I press the left button, now it's both lights, now it's just the spotlight, or I'm sorry, just the floodlight, now it's back to spot, both lights, floodlight, and you can see even in the daylight here, that's a warmer, a warmer light. So now that it's on the floodlight, I press the button on the right side, the selector button, and it's gonna to go to a lower setting, higher, lower, higher, lower, back up to higher, let me turn this off. So now I turn it off, turn it back on immediately and start cycling through. That gives me the three options again, high, medium, low on the floodlight option. So I have it on flood right now. If I hit the selector switch, it's gonna go over to the spotlight, hit it again, it's to both, flood, spot, both. Flood, spot, both, all right? So I'm gonna hold down the button on the right and it's gonna go off. So as you can see, a lot of different outputs. The spotlight is definitely gonna be a more of a white light and then you have a warmer with a little bit of a yellowish tinge for the, um, for the floodlight. So I told you there's a lot of functions here. We've got it on, on the spotlight. I think it's maybe on medium. I'm gonna double click the left button now. It's gonna give me my SOS and my beacon options. So there's my SOS, I double clicked. Double click again, it's gonna to go to, see if we can get the, there's the beacon. Click again and it's gonna go back to your normal function. All right, I've got it on, it's on spotlight. I'm gonna click the left-hand button. Now it's, we got both lights. Now I'm gonna double click the left-hand button again. And now we have SOS coming from 
both lights, not just from one light. Double click again and we're going to get the beacon for both lights. And there's that. So again, tons of functionality here. I'm going to click and now put it on just the, see, let's get it over to the floodlight. Now it's just on floodlight. Double click on the left. Now with the flood, it's going to give me SOS. Double click again. Now it's going to give me beacon with just the floodlight. So again, like you can see a ton of functionality. I'm going to click and just put it back on the normal setting then turn it off. As far as your red light, you're going to hold down the left hand button and you'll see that red light come on and obviously that is going to be for saving your night vision. Alright, as far as battery indication, you're going to triple click on either of these two lights out front here and then watch the, uh, watch the red light. So, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. So four flashes means it's between 70 and 100%. Three flashes mean it's between 30 and 70%. Uh, two flashes mean it's between 10 and 30% and one flash means it's 10% or less. So that's how you can test to see how much of the battery strength you have back here. What I'm going to do now is roll in a, an image of uh, what the different outputs are. So depending on the type of battery you're using in the back, you're going to get different amounts of output. So generally speaking, your high is going to be 600 and then it's going to go down to 150 for your medium and your low is 30. That's with the standard battery that comes with the pack. Your red is 5 lumens, your SOS is 150, and your beacon is 600 lumens. We are outside now. We're looking at my fence, which is about 40 feet away. We have the spotlight. We're going to show you high, medium, and low. So again, this is the spotlight on high, medium, and low. So the spot definitely is going to throw light. It's definitely going to have a tighter center than the flood. And it's definitely more of a white beam than the warm beam, but still a lot of light coming out here. So when I'm shining at the fence there, I can see the whole side yard totally fine, which goes all the way from that edge all the way to the woods there. All right, let's show you the flood on high, medium, and low here on the side yard. So with the flood, it's definitely doing what it should. There's much less of a hot center there. You don't even really see the center beam. And I will say all the way down to the low, I could definitely see the whole side yard quite well with the, uh, with the flood. So let me go, this is gonna be medium. Let me turn it off. High, medium, there's a medium and then low there. So on video, you can't see it very well, but on uh, with the human eye, I can definitely see the whole side yard just fine. Here's back up to high with the flood. All right, now side yard with both of them.
Alright guys, so you've seen it in use. A um, couple things to tell you. First off, price point is right around $50 at the time of this video. I've got links down below so you can head over to Amazon if you want to purchase it or if you want to learn more about this headlamp. Um, what do I like? What would I change? Um, it's definitely busy as far as the number of features, so it's going to take a little while for you to figure them all out. I'm still working on it, even though I've had it for a bit. Um, but I do like the features. I do like that you have a, a, a spot and a flood. You have the red light. You can put the spot and the flood together. You've got different outputs for those. You've got a strobe, the SOS. I mean, obviously a lot of different features. I do like the fact that they made the flood a warmer light and the spot more of that, you know, that straight LED white light. I just think that's kind of nice to have the mix of those two. It is a little softer on your eyes to have a little bit of a yellowish tinge in that, uh, in that flood. Um, Overall, I think you know a couple of the other wins are going to be that it's lightweight and that you've got a rechargeable system that you can run it off an additional power bank. Um, the fact that you've got such a small light there for both the spot and the flood, for some people they're going to want something that's just bigger. You know, um, I'm thinking like the 3.8 TH30, my Phoenix, I think it's the HL60 if I remember it correctly. Um, it's just got a bigger spot, so that's going to be a preference thing. Um, the fact that it doesn't have a strap over the top of the head, I prefer that in general on my headlamps. Um, the the way that it actually sits on your head, it is quite comfortable. I didn't have any times I was wearing it where I was like, oh, this feels, you know, like it's bothering me. I'd say if you're looking for a lightweight headlamp that's going to give you up to 600 lumens, it's got a bunch of different features, um, this could be one that's worth checking out. I think for some people, 50 bucks is going to be steep, um, but I think it's going to be best for somebody who's looking for a variety of functionality as well as having, you know, multiple options for your power source, whether it's a bank, whether it's a power bank, or the actual one that's here. Like all items, you're gonna have some people who like it because it fits their needs and other ones who don't. Um, this one has been featured uh, from Claris as being like something that's good for hiking or running because of how lightweight it is and the multiple outputs as well as your multiple power source options. So maybe, you know, for you, this is gonna be a, a good hiking or, you know, nighttime running headlamp. That could be a, that could be a good fit for you. So those are my thoughts. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section. As always, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us on our Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.